here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Joan Lowe, the owner of a Joan Lowe Cage Fighting Series. Going down in two and a half weeks, right next to me, we have Salvador Osario. Am I pronounced right? And officially signed today, we'll be fighting on our upcoming event. Uh, actually, it will be the first uh, a pro fight kickoff on the main card. Um, we have uh, nine professional fight. Uh, he will be number five. And um, very tough guy. Some of you guys don't know who this guy is. Make sure you guys stay tuned and check him out. Now, uh, uh, Salvador, let's introduce you to all the five fans out there. Who you are, where you're training from, and uh, you know how long you've been training martial arts. Uh, I'm Sal. Uh, I train out of the Scrap Pack Camino Training Center in Team Santos. I also represent uh, my dad's gym at uh, Sort of Training Center in Hayward. Um, I've been had my first uh, MMA fight in 2018. Uh, turned pro in 2020. Um, yeah. Looking. So you've been pro for about two, two and a half years now. Two and a half years now. Yep. And uh, you are two and zero right now. Two and zero. Yeah. And I know a lot of people are having a hard time to uh, to getting you a matchup. You know, um, I've been trying to talk to like even people from you know uh, 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 Sacramento, a lot of other gyms, and um, some of the fighter you mentioned before, and nobody want to fight you. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's scared to fight you. I mean, I don't know, scared, but they don't want to fight you. As now. As now. Yeah. So now, finally got you. Somebody is committed and uh, moving up a weight class. Um, I can't pronounce his name. Um, do you know how to pronounce it? I believe he's going by Cabal. Cabal? Cabal, I believe. Yes. I'm pronouncing it right. And um, he's finally uh, moving up a weight class to take the fight. So this is going to be a definitely like one of the fights that in the Bay Area, a lot of people have eyes on because it's a high level competition. Uh, you, you know, both you guys kind of fight, you know, the best opponent right there. Um, how do you prepare for Cabo? Um, like I said, I, I've seen his fights. He, he's a grappler. Um, I've seen you know tape on him or anything. He likes he likes to grapple a lot on the feet. He's a little little wild, but uh, more so he likes to get it to the ground sooner or later. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm fine in that. I believe I could wrestle with anybody. I believe my submission game is right there. I can even fight anywhere, and I believe my striking could too. That's pretty awesome. Now, I know this fight coming up probably going to be facts, and you definitely have size advantage on Kabul. Um, you're slightly taller and then probably much larger. Last time I talked to him, he's pretty much like 145 pounds on the dot. Um, I think this is probably the first time he actually fought at 145, and all his amateurs and pros and always fight at 135. Um, I don't know. Do you uh, do you think the strength size is gonna give you a more advantage to defend the takedown or even take him down? Yeah, know? like I said, I believe I can wrestle anybody, and I believe I'm strong too. I've been lifting twice a week since my last fight. I added that in there too, so I believe I'm coming in the strength stronger than ever. Um, yeah, I'm ready. We can wrestle. We can we can grab it. We can strike. We can do it all. Um, I've seen tape on this guy. Like I said, the majority of his takedowns come off the fence, and I can tell you right now, this fight's not gonna take place there. That's awesome. You're gonna keep in the fight center of the cage. Yeah, um, yeah. I, like I said, I seen he wants to take me down and choke me out. Um, you know, I don't. I like I said, I can grapple with anybody, but if he does take me down, no problem. I'm gonna get back up and I'm gonna keep striking. That's awesome. So it seems like this is another one of those classic matchups and um, a standard grappler versus striker. You know, um, do you think you believe yourself in having some advantage on the feet? I believe so. You know, so his strongest points on his ground. So obviously, you know, you can grapple, you can wrestle too. Yeah, I'm a little so, stronger as well. Yeah, and um, when you're watching his fight, what can you, how do you, what, if you have to critique the way he fights, and what can you critique him? Uh, the one thing I pick up, he's tough. Uh, he's a good hammer. Um, I see him in fight. I don't know if he's a good nail. Um, so you know, I, I, like I said, things are, you know, he's tough when things are going his way. Um, when people start stuffing his takedowns, we start feeding him. On the feet, you know, I think it goes a different way. Right, right, right. So let's see um, how strong his mental game, mental game coming into this fight. You know, um, now if you look past this opponent in the future, do you have anybody that you want to fight? Uh, no, the only thing I'm focused on right now is this guy. Uh, like I said, I, I heard him say he wants to take me out and choke me out. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't take too kindly to that. So that's got all my focus, all my attention right now. Two and a half weeks is that's all I'm focused on. That's pretty awesome. Now, I'm time to time, you you book fights in different places. Fights are falling through, and um, and then on your last fight, first time ever, you actually made it the whole distance, three five minute round. Yeah. You happy with that? 
Yeah, I, I believe I grew a lot in that fight. Uh, it showed me a lot too. Like, I, you learned know, a lot, me, learned a lot. I grew a lot. I went went the distance. Um, you know, Brandon Olson's. I I don't think his record reflects how tough he is. That guy's really tough, man. Uh, you know, uh, so credit to him. You know, but uh, yeah, I grew a lot after that fight. And like I said, I started changing things up. I started grappling more. I started lifting. Um, you know, and it made me better. That's awesome. Now it's at 145 pound. From now on, this is your home. Yeah, I've been trying to come down to 145 for a while. I just, like I said, I haven't been able to get matched up down here. My last fight was actually supposed to be at 145, and then two days before, the opponent dropped out, and Brandon Olsen stepped in. So we ended up going at 150. Um, but, you know, I, like I said, I was close. I was on track to make 45. I, I, I know I can make it. I'm, I'm excited to go down. So now, 145 pounds, what do you walk around with right now? Man, I'm comfortable, man, like comfortable. I, I eat, I eat all my calories, 8,000 calories a day. I drink a gallon of water a day. I'm, I'm happy, man, you know. Um, March 18th, I'm gonna be 140, or March 17th, I'm gonna be 146. And then March 18th, I'm gonna be healthy again. So man, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's great. Now, uh, this upcoming camp, if people want to watch you fight, come support you. How can people contact you to buy a ticket? Come watch you fight. Instagram, man. You can get a hold of me through Instagram at Vito Corleone underscore. Uh, you can get a hold of my gyms at the Scrap Pack MMA at Team Santos or Osorio Training Center. We'll all have tickets for you there. Uh, come out and support. Uh, it's going to be a good matchup. It's going to be a good one. So don't miss it. Now, let's talk a little bit about your, your dad's gym. That's your dad's uh, boxing gym. Yeah. Uh, where is that gym located? Uh, in Hayward. It's off A Street and Foothill. Uh, my, my father opened this gym about a year ago. Uh, he's been going a year strong now, so just just made it a year hump. It's a big deal. Um, but it's mainly all him. To be honest, I, I'm not there as much. Um, I'm mainly at, at Santos and El Nino Training Center. Uh, I split my time between those two gyms, and I work full-time as well. So that, that one's kind of all him. I'm just uh, repping the gym and much support, but... Yeah, uh, you know, do you, do you don't go to train with your dad? Not as much right now. I'm splitting time between Team Santos and Elmer Training Center, but uh, definitely, you know, Pops got me started, and everything, you know, I started with him, learned, you know. So that's kind of like your fundamental martial arts boxing? Yeah, yeah. I started out boxing first. I uh, was a little kid, about eight years old, and then uh, I started wrestling in high school. I was all four years there, um, and then I started jujitsu in 2017. Uh, yeah, I'm a purple belt right now in the John Santos. That's good. Well, you're a pretty well-rounded fighter. Definitely one of the prospects in the Bay. Uh, looking forward to see you to 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 to, to cap out the three and zero. You yeah. know, to move up to the next stage. Um, actually, it would be nice to have a, if you're coming off the win of this upcoming fight, the winner of this fight. I would love to maybe having a title fight for my following event May 20 for the 145 title fight for the title for the title strap. Yeah. And uh, hopefully somebody gets to four and zero. Hopefully can uh, can get signed or. I will personally can tell you this. I will try to help you to get signed. Okay. And uh, uh, pick up a motion. Okay. So this is what I try to do. And um, some of the fighters from the Bay Area, some of you guys don't know me, and then finding on my show. And uh, when people get to the tab, and uh, I'm I'm here to help. And then um, I like to help with whether they from all over the, from a different gym, you know. So uh, um, I will definitely gonna help the the, the, the champ. Then half of my belt, you know, you get signed on one or two big, uh, big promotions out there or contender, you know, one of the series out there. So um, look forward to it. This is definitely the fight. I have my attention on it and um, watching how this fight's going to play out. Two of the well-known guys, the well-recognized fighters in the Bay Area that are uh, trying to claim the crown to get the, get the W on August, uh, on uh, March 18th. Very exciting myself. Uh, now, um, do you have any special sponsor you want to shout out to? No, no sponsors. Uh, just thank you everyone at El Nino. Thank you everyone at Team Santos. My coaches, John Santos, Gil Melendez, Coach Iro, Pops. Thank you. You know, uh, that's Coach John, my strength coach. We're going to do this. And then now, if your opponent, Kabul, watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? I'll see you March 18th. How's it's going to go down? I'm going to finish this fight. First or the second round? Uh, I believe I can do it under 10 minutes. Second round, finish it. That's a statement, making sure you guys stay tuned. This event's live stream pay-per-view nationwide, so if you cannot make it to the event, making sure you guys order your live stream pay-per-view voucher from DragonHouseMMA.com, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, give me some love and support, and then uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, Dragon underscore house underscore MMA. Um, now, uh, any last word you want to say to anyone out there? No, let's do uh, this. Go. Now we have Salvador Osario, making his another third professional fight cage walk um, on the catwalk on March 18th. 
making sure you guys stay tuned. And I'm Joan Lo signing out. May 20 is the event after this one. We are currently starting to work on the fight card now. So any fighter want to get on the May 20 card, please hit me up. And we will try to shoot for four title fights on that event. And the winner of this fight right here, probably going to get on the May 20 title fight. So awesome to have your job uh, on board, brother. Thank you. Thank we'll you. see you guys on March 17 as the weigh-in. March 18 is the showdown. And I'm Joan Lo signing out.